Time for another video. <laughs> How do you make it rock? It can't do the thing. Can it do this? No, it can't do that. The bike's already up on the lift. We got some things to do today. Trying to knock out all the, there, there's so many things. It's like, oh, when are you gonna get rid of the turn signals and the fender thing and the, the supermoto wheels are here now. There's so many things, but we gotta take care of the stupid basic stuff first. Uh, one of the problems that we ran into on the very first ride that I went on is that we scratched the frame. I didn't even do anything crazy. Why? Because Honda didn't even put one of the little plastic dingy uh, junky stock skid plates that they put on most bikes. They were like, no, it doesn't need anything. That's fine. The bike was off of T-Rex Racing. They made one. Nice aluminum product here. It's got the, this guy. It's the, it covers the linkage. It's, it's good to have that. Not too heavy, should give good protection, should uh, do all the things that we want a skid plate to do. And this is a little crash cage bar thing for it. And they kind of work together. They kind of tie into each other. You don't have to, you could run one or the other. And we're gonna install them both. And we want to install it right now because I'm supposed to go for a ride tomorrow morning. And uh, I do not, I still only have 55 miles on this bike. There was, there was like two things I said I had to do before I went on the next ride with it. One was the kickstand and the other one was a skid plate in this crash bar. There's another thing we need to do before we can install any of that stuff, and that is we need to fix the little scratches on the frame. The internet told me that this is the trick stuff to get right here. It's the like same silver paint that's on these frames. Han's been using that same paint forever. I already touched up one or two small spots, and they look good now. And so, they, it, this is dead on. This is uh, what Colorite off-road paint. I'll put a link in the description, an affiliate link, and help me out if you use that link. Those you can buy wherever. Just know that that's the stuff right there. Because it is a steel frame bike and we don't want to leave anything to chance, you know? Like if it was an aluminum frame and it got like a little nick or something, you could go, meh, you know, okay, yeah. But with steel, I just don't want to take the chance, especially with being brand new. I see a couple little nicks in it and little things. I'm like, let's just get it before it destroys itself. This was the main spot right here, but there's a few other little, little bits here and there on there I've noticed as well. So we'll just go ahead and kind of clean this whole area up using some alcohol. You gotta use the denatured alcohol so you get rid of all the nature. I was just kind of looking, skimming through the instructions there and I actually do need to remove both of these bolts here and here on the frame. Uh, these are like motor mount uh, bolts. That's what the cage is gonna go onto. And the deal is I can see there's a little bit of uh, paint right around here I'd like to touch up. I think it's just because these came off on several times. T-Rex was, you know, remember they used this bike as the template and so, uh, it's only minor, but I think I can get away with it. I'm gonna pull, go, since I'm gonna be doing a little bit of touching up in this area, I'm gonna go and try to pull these out and then we'll mask up and do our, all our touching up all at once. Now the deal is these are two mount, motor mount bolts. There's another one in the rear and there's kind of one up above it, but I'm slightly not sure if I can pull both of those out without having the engine drop. We just, just touch it up on it. We don't want to make it tight or anything. Just to touch it, we'll be good. All right, these are 14 millimeters. So I can just crack them loose to start. Try to hold the other side still. I really need a shorter extension. This is kind of a little tricky with an extension this long. There we go. Just leave that loose for a moment. All right, both seem loose, that's good. We can just pull these out. There's a bolt, a washer, and it looks like there's some spacers in here too, so I have to be mindful of all that. Yeah, it's like an aluminum spacer in there. I'm just gonna reassemble this the way it came out of the engine. And you can see some of the spots that need some repainting kind of up in here and here. All right, got things somewhat masked up here. I think the big thing when you lay this stuff on is, uh, even though this stuff is basically perfectly matched, to do light, little thin coats through here. Many small coats versus several thick coats, I, I, mini small coats is better. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes, okay. So I'll do like uh, probably six to nine more really light layers of that. So we've put six to nine coats on there, let them dry for 69 minutes. And it's pretty uniform, it's quite smooth. So I guess I'm ready to go ahead and start installing this. I'm gonna start with the piece that goes on the left side. And think about that for a minute, that's embarrassing. It's got its own giant bolts that go through there, replace those big motor mount bolts. But we do have to use those little aluminum spacers. We need to sneak those back in there. We'll start with this one, everything in loose, and then we'll slip the other side in and you know. You got the longer bolt in the bottom, washer, spacer, and then you just have the bolt like this. You gotta put that aluminum spacer back down here. And that guy should slip in nice and easy. All right, 
while I got the other one sitting up here without letting it slide around and scratch up all this pretty new paint. Take our other one, which I should have had this better prep, but that's all right. I gotta slip this aluminum washer in here. Spacer, whatever it's called, spacer. I know my words. Oh, it's a little fiddly. It's only because I just have fresh paint on everything. I'm trying not to like make, make anything touch. I'll need to back these bolts out just enough to get the aluminum spacers in. I just went ahead and pushed them all the way through so it would hold it all steady while I was lining it up. Looks like it makes slight contact with the radiator hose, but not enough to push it in or anything, not, not enough to make any issues. Still leave those loose, of course. The direction said to tighten these up to 34 foot pounds. It's a 17 now. Having a friend to help you hold their side wouldn't be the worst idea. Let's go. There it is. And now we can tighten these up. Looks pretty good. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this or not, but now seeing it in person, it's pretty nice. Aluminum sliders on the side so you can replace these and the rest of it's a nice steel construction. I like that anything that hits this is gonna be transferred essentially to four points along the frame, uh, as well as into the engine, which is a stress member as well. So it shouldn't dig into anything since we got a nice smooth surface here, not just a point of a frame slider. Let's throw the skid plate on, which is super simple. I've seen some other skid plates already available out there, but they seem to also be available for the rally. And they're kind of weird because they don't come up very high, I guess, to like match into the fairings. And uh, I think they're stupid. I, mean, I guess if you have a rally, that's what you have to have. And uh, I just wouldn't have a rally. All right, yeah, look at that boy. I was surprised how light these aluminum skid plates are, but I love this here because it's got the protector for the linkage. It's got a little piece of foam right here that must make contact with something. There's no instructions, but you don't. You don't need instructions for a skid plate. All you need is a five millimeter Allen to install this thing. You can see there's a couple holes right here, a couple holes right here. You got a couple bolts. I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite on each one of these just because I've definitely seen these bolts back out before on different machines. I'm not gonna put a ton, just a little bit. And uh, this is obviously one of those things where you need to get every one of these bolts in before you uh, tighten anything up. Just kind of get everything in, a couple turns to start with. Actually, it works out really good. You can see kind of right through the frame and see what you're actually attaching to. The rear ones have a little uh, spacer, which will go up inside here. I can tell that. The nice thing too is I can see where these bolts come up through. They're just, the front ones and the rear ones, where these bolts go through onto the frame, there's nothing like right behind them. There's several bikes I've seen where they actually have like a, like the engine or something really critical right in the way. So if this bolt ever gets smashed up, it ends up you know breaking your motor. Not the case with this. I can see that there's it's just a clear open hole uh, so far on all three that I've installed. And this one's the same way. Now, I'll just kind of go around them all and slowly snug them up. The bike looks sick, man. It's looking so beef. Totally is covering the the stator, the, the water pump, all the things that you want protected look like they're gonna be well protected. It's still got a place to change the oil out of. So far all I've done in this video is add weight to my bike, but it's a, it's weight that you need. It's weight that's gonna keep the bike protected. Oh, it's a little weird to lay something down on the American flag, but I guess it is a rug and this bike's pretty patriotic its own self, so you know. Did you know that this video came out about a week ago on Patreon? Uncensored, ad-free, and extended. You can join for just $1 a month and come hang out in the Discord and call me a poopy face right to my ear hole. Be sure to check out the Patreon. This is looking good. These are the kind of mods I definitely wanted to get on the bike before anything else, so I'm glad we've done those now. Big thanks to T-Rex Racing. Go be sure to check them out. There's a link in the description. Yeah, see you in the next video.